So these are some examples of Kusama's infinity rooms. Look at how amazing that looks. And do you see all the dots in it? Here's another one. Imagine how she put all of those dots on all of those balls and created a room that looked like it could go on infinitely. And then check this one out. This one is lights. And actually, as a visitor to the museum, you can put your phone into a little hole and take a picture of what that infinity room looks like. And that's almost what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be creating a little box that helps you see infinitely into the pictures that you're drawing. In a way, sort of like what Kusama did. So let's get started. So we are going to be making our own version of Yayoi Kusama's infinity mirror rooms. And we're gonna do it on a piece of paper. So to get started, you wanna take your ruler and at the top of your page, these are square pages, you're gonna mark off every three inches. So make sure your zero is lined up with the edge and then just mark at the three and then three skip counted would be six. And then we'd be at nine over at this edge. And you're gonna do that on all four corners of your paper. So I've marked off every third and sixth inch all the way across. And now I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm just going to draw a line from one dot to the next dot so that I have a straight line and we are going to create our grid. Just like that. There we go. So this is our grid and then I am going to go over it with a Sharpie. And the reason you want to use a Sharpie is because we're gonna be using these markers over the top of it and any other kind of marker will end up bleeding. So you wanna use your Sharpie that we've given you and just do all four lines like this. Now what's gonna be really cool about these infinity mirrors is just like Yayoi Kasama represented herself in her art, this is going to re represent you in a special kind of data that we can collect um, called a glyph. And a glyph is a way of taking picture data. So we're going to do that all about you. For example, each one of these squares is gonna represent something different about yourself. For example, your age will be in one of the squares and it will be your age times three. And in another square, you're going to do the number of siblings. And you do one star for yourself and that's me. And then one star for some siblings, your siblings. So there's my brother and my sister. So now I've got three stars. Another thing on the grid, is how many pets I have. And at our house, we have one pet and that's represented by a heart. If you had four pets, you would draw four hearts in this grid. And then in this next one, you can choose anywhere you want them to be. I'm gonna do concentric circles to represent each person in my family. So there's gonna be six people. One, two, three, four, five and six, that's for all the people in my family. So this is how you'll do yours. You're gonna look at your glyph and it's gonna give you all of the information about yourself. I also wanna show you real quick, one of the first things on your sheet says, your age times three in dots. I'm not gonna give you my age, but I'm gonna show you some different ways that you can do dots. So for example, you could do just tiny polka dots any way you want, just like that, little dots. You could choose to do your dots in a row, organized dots. You could choose to do dots that are all sizes, big ones, medium ones, tiny ones. Or you could even do your dots like a dot to dot in your favorite picture. So those are four different ways that you can make your dots. Here's mine, my finished piece. The next thing you'll wanna do is color it in. 
My suggestion to you is you color it in as brightly and as boldly as possible using color to make it bright and bold. And the reason for that is, is once we get our mirror over, we want it to really shine. And if you have too much white, not enough variety, then it won't look the same as if you color it in really brightly. So I'm gonna color this whole thing. Now, one thing as you color these in is you really want to color and leave no white. The better you color it in with broad, strong strokes so that there's no white showing, the better the project will look. And I'll show you an example. I'm gonna get all my orange in, then I'll switch colors in a minute. There we go, I finished my glyph. So you can tell a lot about a person by looking at their glyph. A glyph is a way of collecting data. So you might remember that the concentric circles is the number of people in your family. Diamonds, that's the number of years you've been to Girls Rock Math. The heart is how many pets you have. The stars represent your siblings and, and the rest of this is all in your notebook as well. So you can figure out all of the things about yourself based on this glyph. Now, the next step is to turn it into an infinity room. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper, your strip, and you're gonna fold it in half and then fold it in half again so that you have now a square. And you're gonna open this up and you'll see what we're going to create is a little box. So you can fold it, make sure it folds into a box and we will tape this shut just like this so that it fits over our shape, like that. But to make it an infinity room, we need to add the mirrors. So you're gonna take your silver paper and your glue stick. Let's move this out of the way so we don't glue on top of it. And you'll just glue down on your square some glue and then very carefully lay this down. If it gets wrinkly, it won't work as well for a mirror. So you do one and then the other, and you're gonna do all four of these. So I've got four of my mirrored papers on my bent square, on what will become my square. Um, you can fold them and bend them to make it a little bit sharper uh, if you want in terms of the folding and the corners. And then you'll use your tape and you'll just tape like this. Then you'll see when we set this on top of one of our shapes, you can see inside of it and it gives the effect of an infinity mirror room. And that'll be the same. You can look at all of them this way and they all become your own infinity mirror room. I like this one because it reminds me, the dots do remind me so much of Kasama. And there you go. We have our very own Kasama inspired infinity room art piece. So make yours, enjoy, show it off, and we'll see you for the next lesson.